Hello everyone. Hello. How is everyone today on this rainy Friday? This is Tina the Free T this is Tina the Keto Coach with Friday Night Treats with Tina. Yes, yes, yes. Um just had one it since it's a rainy day and all of that stuff, you know, and and it's Friday, yes, some of us do have off on some of the weekends, which is absolutely fabulous. It's great. Oh, I see my Instagram family tuning in. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to make something quick, well, sort of quick, savory and some a nice comfort food. I actually got the idea from watching Good Morning America um, last week sometime. So today what we're going to be making is... Um, keto Italian sausage and meatballs so you can do this this is for the whole family whether you're keto or not or carnivore or not um, if you want to make pasta if you want to use um, let's say regular pasta if you want to use zucchini noodles zoodles if you want to use uh, mashed cauliflower cauliflower rice bread <coughs> keto bread this dish will definitely satisfy everyone in your household and they can eat this any way they want to. So first thing I want to do, I want to start off with my um, pack of ground beef. Any old ground beef from your, your local store, your local grocer. You know. And um, get this out of the package. Because you know we really cooking here. See how fast I can get this out for you. Push it on through. <laughs> wow. Get this out of the package. Some nice ground beef. How about that? And of course, you know, when you're handling raw meat, you got to keep your hands clean. You don't want to cross contaminate or contaminate anything, especially even some of the um, other ingredients that you could be using, like your seasonings. You don't want to get stuff all over there you know oh, let me put this in see washing my hands that's very important drying them off now first thing I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and take Pork rinds, yes, yes I am. Cut some of this bag off. <laughs> I'm gonna use a quarter cup in my food processor. Doesn't have to be perfect. It might not be a complete quarter or it might be a little over. That's fine, that is perfectly okay. Put this on the side. And then I'm going to take a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. So I can get the bag open. Quarter cup of some Parmesan, shredded Parmesan cheese. It's like, don't wig out if it's not per perfect, if it's not exactly at a quarter, a heaping cup, or, or whatever. A quarter, it's a quarter cup. Put this on the side. Then I'm going to use my food processor and pulse those ingredients. Smash those up. I love my food processor. And if you don't have a food processor, just put it in a plastic bag and just mash it up or get one of the kids to mash it up. That's all you got to do. See how that looks? It's not completely all the way down, but this is fine. Mix this in here. Had a piece of pork rind that was a little extra hard, so that didn't even process, so I didn't want to even use that. So what I'm going to do is mash this together. This is the hardest part, just making the meatballs. See, so instead of um, your 
breadcrumbs or your crackers, we use pork rinds. Remember, we're keto and carnivore here. Use your pork rinds. Next thing I want to do, and this is to your own taste and flavor. I don't do a whole lot of measuring, but a little onion powder. I just coat the top of the mi mixture just to get it a good flavor. Here is my Italian seasoning. Y'all know I love my Italian seasoning. I'm going to put a little bit of um, garlic seasoning. And some pepper. Don't need to add salt or anything like that because that would just because the, the garlic seasoning has enough salt in it as it is. So I don't want to make it taste salty. So I'm mashing these up with just a regular fork. And next I'm going to add one egg. <laughs> Almost got the shells in here. Put this one aside. Wipe my hands down again. Beat the egg a little bit on the side. This is a nice, simple meatball recipe. You know, very easy, very simple. Anytime you make something that the whole family likes, that's all, that's a good deal. <laughs> Mixing it all in, see how that looks. Just want to show you how that looks for now. And yes, make sure your hands are clean because you are going to get your hands nice and dirty with this. mashing it all together and yes make sure your meat is thawed <laughs> or it's not too cold this is a little cold and it is thawed I took it right from the grocery store and put it in my refrigerator yesterday I didn't put it in the freezer so we have our meat and now we can start making little meatballs. Just take your hands. That's all. Not a big deal. I like them to be a certain size. I don't want them too big and I don't want them too small. See that? See that? Don't want them too big. Don't want them too small. And some of you that know me know I have small hands anyway. So put these on the side. Good way to practice, take your time. It's kind of therapeutic to me, you know, when you're making these meatballs. If you want to just make them as a sub or anything like that, you can. Hi, all my um, Instagram folks. I can't press the wave button because my hands are in this. But thank you for tuning in. Love this. And I know my Facebook family, all of you are watching me too. And some of you know that I'll upload this to Twitter and um, LinkedIn and all of those other things too. And a few um, business groups that I'm members of on Facebook. See? It won't take that long to make these. Just wanted to show you. And because, believe it or not, I try to do things within a certain amount of time so because actually I um, have some place to go after this. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? So I'm trying my best to get these done. Oh and also when you finish rolling these meatballs you can make them as big or as small as you'd like. Um, you can either put them in an oven or fry them on top of your stove and of course 
being keto, I either use olive oil or um, some beef tallow. Don't want to use butter because the, the burn, um, whatever they call it, it gets too high for butter. So you don't want to, you really don't want to do that. Look at this. See, they're getting there quickly. And I like them nice and round. Like I said, I'm really cooking here. Just wanted to show you all how easy it is, no matter what type of program or lifestyle that you're following, you can kind of mentally plan and prep what you're going to do or what you're going to make for your meals, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I don't want my sweater to get in here. <laughs> See, almost finished. I think I got about maybe three more. Yep. Perfect. See, all you do is toss them around. You don't even have to do all of this. Just smush them around gently in your hands and you'll get some nice sized meatballs. Put this over here. Washing my hands again. And also with washing my hands, I clean off the faucet handle that I'm using to lift for the water. You gotta be thorough. See how I lifted the clean off the little faucet handle thing that I used to um so I could wash my hands. Okay, here go the meatballs. See that? Aren't they gorgeous? And the next thing I want to do, you can put them in the refrigerator for maybe like mm, five minutes or so or whatever. But these are fine. So what I'm gonna do is put these on the side. And I'm gonna use that to cook. And the next thing I want to do is to cut my sausage. Now with your Italian sausage you can use the spicy, the mild, or the sweet. You don't even have to take them out of the thing. And you can use as many as you want because I think most um, stores sell it with five or maybe six in the pack. And for the usually for that um, pound of ground beef that I just cut, I usually just go ahead and cut maybe two or three of these sausages. Like I said, to your taste, as many as you like or as many as you want. Don't have to be pretty. See, even the, the, the casing is loose, but that's fine. If you're gonna, and what I'm going to do, what I like doing is cooking them on top of the stove. together. I think when you fry them on top with a little beef tallow, olive oil, or whatever you want to use, I think it gives them everything a really, really good flavor. But you have to remember you have to be gentle with your meatballs when you cook them on the stove. You really do. Go ahead and deal with this. Washing those hands again. Yes, indeed. So what I'm going to do, put these on the side. And what I'm going to do with this is, with the sauce, Getting me a nice bowl. I'm going to take, I have bought, get the store brand in the can tomato sauce. There's usually, the what's in it is very simple and basic. They don't have a whole bunch of fancy stuff or added sugars in it.
And this is the canned diced tomatoes, the Italian style. Most grocery stores do have it. And the next thing I want to do, I'm going to season this. Put a little garlic seasoning in it. A little bit of extra garlic. Italian seasoning. Some onion powder. Then I'm going to take about three packs of small packs of stevia instead of sugar, no sugar. You can use mug fruit if you want. Stir this around. Stir it around. Whoop, making a mess. Good thing I have on this apron. <laughs> And I want to taste this first, just to see how it tastes. Oh yeah, that's good. Don't need no more salt, no more stevia or nothing. So the cans of the tomato, the tomato sauce can, I think that was a 16 ounce can, yes. And the diced tomatoes, it was a 16 ounce can of Italian style diced tomatoes. So what you want to do, I use the slow cooker, saute my meatballs, saute my sausage let them cook so they can go ahead and get the right consistency but be gentle with the meatballs because they could fall apart on you and what I did is put the sauce in my slow cooker and then after the meatballs and the sausage was cooked and fried in my pan like I said if you don't want to fry it you can bake it I put it all in my slow cooker and let it cook for about another three hours and I'll show you the result And yes, it has been three hours. Made it look a little ugly, but that's okay. But see, doesn't that look good? Oh my goodness. I'm going to dive in. Still a little warm. Mmm. This is so good. And more cheese. If you want to add some mozzarella, I have this pizza cheese. Feel free to sprinkle that on top. Like I said, you can make a nice sub sandwich out of it for people in the house that don't do keto or carnivore you can use zoodles this is the sauce sprinkle a little cheese on top shredded pizza cheese mozzarella cheese the parmesan cheese whatever you want this is absolutely delicious mmm See that with the cheese on top? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And there you have it. Italian keto, Italian sausage and meatball. Easy breezy. Just be patient when you're either baking or putting your meat in the oven which I'll probably do after that because I didn't want to keep you all afternoon <laughs> for that or anything didn't want to do that to you so I'm waving hi to my friends over at Instagram and stuff but this is so delicious mm. and my husband loved it he liked it I was able to give him some before I started showing you all how to make this oh and also 
This is good if you make a big batch, you can freeze it. And use it for other things. Very easy, very easy to do. Yes. Mm. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Friday Night Treats with Tina, the Keto Coach. And I will see you next week. Have a fabulous, safe weekend. Love you all. Bye-bye.